guys, how's it going? Welcome back. So we're going to have a little bit of fun today with a 350 watt, 15 inch subwoofer. Woo! Thump power. Anyway, so, uh, my good friend, buddy, and landlord, uh, gave me this today. And I was like, yeah, I like that. That's cool. So, um, let's have some fun. I'm going to hook this thing up to uh, my little PV um, oh, backstage amp because it's 4 ohms which is what this speaker runs on and uh, we're going to see uh, what happens when you try and use a subwoofer as a speaker for a guitar amp and our polarities aren't marked here okay um, yep there we go alright got the polarities go. This is going to be real interesting. Now we all know what subs sound like when they're hooked up to car audio. And uh, this is, uh, in case you're wondering about the model, it's the uh, T1540. So T1540, uh, 350 watt, 4 ohm, 15 inch. Alright, so that's all hooked. Plug in our guitar. Never done anything this crazy before. Ooh, we got juice. This works the way I'm hoping it does. I'm building a cabinet for this sucker. This is actually the speaker. Okay, nothing. All right, that's sounding pretty good. Let's turn that up to four. Backstage, which is a trans tube amp. Well, 
That's nice. Didn't uh, suck too much out of the amp. That's good. It's not getting hot. Thumbs up. So, anybody who wants to use a subwoofer uh, on the guitar amp, it sounds really good. You know? Um, and the distortion sounds good. You know? And it puts out some good uh, thuddy bass there, too. You know? Let's, uh... size sub box because I want some you know good throat out of this thing and uh, yeah I'm gonna mount this sucker up and uh, then I just gotta find a more suitable amp because a 10 watt amp is really not enough as far as I'm concerned you gotta have more and uh, yeah I think we can do that for sure so uh, that concludes this video. Let me know what you guys think. I think it's good. It sounds good. The tones are good, even on the higher notes. It's clean, clean. I like it. Uh, catch you on the next one, guys.